Big trend. Big trend in gaming mice and Extrify, who sponsored this video, is all in on it. This is the Extrify M42 and apparently it's multiple Extrify M42s. These mice weigh just 59 grams and come in at anywhere from 59 to 69 dollars depending on the color. Personally, cool. I am liking this retro one. You got this like retro gray, but with RGB lighting. All right, I feel like I'm playing my job. Just got my, you know, my tiles and just moving them around. All right, there we go. Oh, that's kind of fun. They include a couple of little cute keycaps that you can put on your keyboard. Ugh. Cherry MX style with the cross stem. Nothing special in terms of quality, but at least they do have a pass-through, so light will come through them. So this is interesting. This is one of the big changes since their previous generation mouse. The M42 is a symmetrical mouse, and it actually includes a second rump. So you can swap it out depending on what's more comfortable for you to do palm or actually, I mean, I guess it depends whether you palm at all because some people, particularly with these symmetrical ambidextrous mice, prefer to use them with more of like a claw grip. Another thing they've changed is apparently there's been a big focus on durability. So in spite of the light size, it's supposed to still have strong plastics. Like that's something that you can run into when you go and poke a bunch of holes in your product is it might not be strong enough, but uh, that and the cable are apparently designed for optimum strength. So let's have a look here at what we think in terms of the uh, feel of the plastics. Actually, you know what? Like, there's not a lot of flex there. That's pretty good, especially considering how light it is. Although we should, of course, <clears throat> validate their claims with our trusty debranded scale here. So supposedly this is gonna say 59 grams. Let's see if they win the prize. That's 63 grams. I mean, the good news is that when I lift the cable up, it does reach 59 grams. I mean, I could just like cut the cable off of it and then we could find out for sure. I wouldn't wanna like ruin a perfectly good mouse though. Here, why don't we whip open one of the other colors and we'll have a look at the swappable rump plate. Which one next? The, the, the retro one. The retro one? Heck yeah. All right, that's the one I wanted. All right, here comes the retro one. That looks so bad that it's good. I kind of love it. This would go perfectly with that, um, that retro inspired build that Intel sent a couple of years back. So uh, here, can I, um, can we actually plug this one in so that we can have a look at the RGB lighting? Apparently you can adjust the RGB on device and you don't require any software for it. So why don't we, play around with that and see exactly how that works. There is something kind of unnerving about the juxtaposition of modern RGB aesthetics and old school red and beige and tan plastics. What do you think, Andy? I think the RGB might actually harm the aesthetic. That's like additional five volts power. Thanks for that. Of course, you don't need to go, you know, full RGB, you can just, uh, you know, have it be a single color. So you can have breathing, wave. There's another RGB LED on the bottom that shows you which CPI you're running at. You can also adjust it from 125 to 500 to 1000 Hertz. Okay, I gotta grab the blue one now. That's a really small knife. Hey, look, it's not about the size of the knife, okay? It's how you use it. Oh, that's cool. I didn't actually notice they've got their logo on the inside and the retro one this is cool, has their retroized logo. Okay, these really do not seem that different to me. I think this is the default one. And then the one that comes in the box seems to be a little bit wider and flatter. Yeah, there you go. So it doesn't, it's not quite as perky. Is that really gonna change it that substantially in terms of feel? I have my doubts. Okay, it's default. I'm mousing. Oh, it does change it a lot, actually. So it goes from 
comfortably hugging the inside of my palm here to I kind of feel like my hand is floating over the mouse. Like if I was more of a claw grip type character, I would definitely prefer this one. That's kind of cool. Apparently they provide the 3D files. So if you wanted to, you know, 3D print your own design for it and see if you can get it contoured exactly right for your own hand, that is something that you could do. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's very different. Okay, so do I have a gaming PC here that I can actually like play some games on? Yes, you do. Sweet. <clears throat> Sorry, Extrify, the white one and the black one are just not that interesting. Ooh. Okay, we're going, we're going candy store. Oh. How sick is that? It's sick, dog. Oh my God. Default highest DPI is ridiculous. I mean, who could possibly game like this? Oh, he 360 no scopes with no effort whatsoever. Ah! Oh my gosh, I can't even point at anything. To be clear, guys, I'm not blaming the mouse for my performance here. I have it set to like maximum sensitivity so you can see it like as I'm walking around, like there's these tiny jittery movements. That's not the sensor. Like there's a Pixar 3389 sensor, it's fine. It's just that if my hand shakes even a little bit, it moves me all over the place. Oh wow, those guys really lunge at you there. You know, I gotta say, I think my preference for this mouse would be to not use the palm style back. I'm gonna switch over to the other one and see if I like that better. Cause for me, I prefer my palm mice be um, non ambidextrous, like more sculpted to the hand that they're intended to be used with. So let's switch to candy store here, which is also at a more reasonable sensitivity setting. Yeah, that's better and quite comfortable for more of a claw type of grip. Oops, oops, I'm almost dead. Don't die, Linus. Don't die. Click feel is really good. It's using Omron switches, which basically, if you're trying to make a good feeling mouse is probably what you should be using. And does this one look cool or what? I'm not saying to buy two. I'm just saying that if you got a blue one and a pink one, your mouse could look like this. Obviously, we're gonna have it linked in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and thanks to Extrify for sponsoring today's video. Whoops. And uh, what's, what's left? Yeah, subscribe to Short Circuit. Why haven't you done so already?